All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, now this is the most disgusting as shit, you know, uh, you know, I've ever heard in my life, you know, coming from a so-called celebrity. All right. And, um, you know, this is the guy Tank. Which is a, I think he was an R&B singer. I remember him. So, the him genuine, you know, I think his era, his time probably done passed already. But, you know, the, these uh, celebrities and this ideology, you know, how you live, you know, these celebrities have basically, you know, they're basically your new leaders, all right, of the so-called blacks and Hispanics. And whatever they say, you know, it's kind of like, it's gold, you know? And I'm gonna say this, uh, before I play a little bit of the uh, video, uh, you know, like the guy said in the video, there is no debate, you know? The scriptures tell you in Leviticus, okay, in the law, that if a man lie, lie down with mankind as though he lied with a woman, they have both committed an abomination. Their blood shall be, uh, uh, be upon them, all right? Because that is homosexuality, man. Now, playing around, and I don't think this guy was playing around, but it's the most disgusting shit I ever heard in my life for a man, you know, like, like, uh, you know, his caliber, you know, get all the women, the same, got the nice body and all that shit, to be actually uh, putting this up in the air for people to, uh, you know, to think upon as if he got a, as, as if, as if, you know, he got a, he made a, a, a valid point. He didn't make no valid point by saying this shit. This is disgusting, man. As you see on the title, it says 50 Cent Ethers Tank for comments on oral with another man. You know, that shit is disgusting, B. Like, what the fuck? But, hey, this is Babylon the Great. The scriptures call it uh, Babylon the Great, which is known as America. Also spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. And, um... I'll just play a little bit of this video, man. What's going on, YouTube? Coming back at you with another video. Okay, so Tank recently made these strange comments that if you give a man oral sex twice, that doesn't make you gay. 50 Cent reacting. So Tank says giving another man oral sex doesn't make you gay. Sparks debate. He said, old sugar Tank gay ass a motherfucker nah he only sucked it twice and i'm gonna tell you right out the gate there is no debate the fact that they try to make it seem like there's a debate no there is no debate thank you all right you know because there is still some men okay out here in the world and and that shit is uncalled for man you know what could possess a man well i know satan but you know what what could possibly you know which, what, what are you trying to get, you know, out, out of making a statement like that? You know, only twice? Nigga, if you do it once, nigga, that, that's a disgusting. That's a perverse spirit, man. That shit is disgusting, man. You know? This whole, hey, hey this place got to go, man. May Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah destroy this place, man. And, 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 and it's on its way out. Straight up, man. These dudes is out of their goddamn mind. You know, it is no debate. It's no discussion. You know, why would you even want to have that in thought? You know? But, um, I'm not going to make this lesson too long. Let me, uh, get a quick preset. This shit is fucking off, man. This niggas is crazy, man. This is, uh, where you at? Locking. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. All right, now by having that certain mindset as this nigga take, 
you know, by making this statement, you know, it's, it's evil, man. It's putting sweet for bitter. Like, who the hell is this guy think he is, man? And and 50 Cent blasted him, you know, making mockery of him. And, and uh, you know, the guy on this channel here, you know, uh, Hip Hop Classics, he, he getting on the guy, man. You know, speaking facts, man, because this shit is disgusting, man. You know? Most I gotta destroy this place, man. Um, let me get another one. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 32. For their vine is the vine of Sodom. Because you're a Sodomite, man. To make that statement, it's because you're having doubts whether or if you, you don't know whether you're gay or not. My man, if you commit any sexual act with the same sex you are now a homosexual my man you know but these guys be uh you know fighting you know their their manhood because their manhood was taken you know we know that you, in the industry in hollywood and being a certain celebrity you know with a certain um platform they got to do those rituals man they got to sell their soul so if you think that you're a straight man you're not you know, you're a sodomite. It says, for their vine is the vine of, the vine of Sodom, okay? Meaning they're what? Their line, man. You know, their, their mind frame, their ways about them, all right? It says, in the fields of Gomorrah, their grape is the grapes of gall, their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragons and of the cruel venom of apps. Because that's playing upon someone's minds that, that is simple. You know, to really, if, if, hey, if, if you that simple to really think what Tank is talking about is that if he done such a thing twice, that don't make him homo. If you're playing with that idea and you really believe that he's right, Mo, man, Mosai going to destroy your ass, man. All right. It says the wine of, it says the wine, their wine is the poison of dragons. All right. And the cruel venom of apps because eventually with that type of mindset you know you're gonna venture off down that down that road you know if you don't condemn wickedness you're for it okay it's straight up you just like i said before in the lesson man you got certain youtubers that when they see certain things pop up in mainstream media social media it disturbs their their spirit so they get the subject, you know, and they, they do a pod, they do a, a live stream on it. They have their show on it and they want people to, to come in and, you know, speak their piece on it. And here it is, they speak in, in the act of knowing that what that was was wrong. But at the end of the day, they leave it up in the air as if, you know, we don't know. You niggas are out of your goddamn mind, man. If you're not condemning wickedness, then you're for it, man. And that's why the Lord is going to destroy two-thirds of you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians, man. We're, we're living in a time where people, where Jake don't even want to point the finger. You don't even, you want to, Jake don't even want to point the finger. They don't want to call out the bullshit, man. So, as the scriptures say, Deuteronomy 32, 33, their wine is the poison of dragons. And the cruel venom of apps, mainly, you know, starting with Esau. But Jake has become fucking Edomites, man. You have picked up this Greek Roman colonial uh, ide ideology uh, mindset, man. Okay, you, you think that you're a fucking Greek. You think that's, you know, a, a part of uh, uh, your nature. And it's not. You're making it. That's why the scriptures say man sought out many inventions, man. All right. Because it's your wicked ass coming up with this bullshit. Thinking that you're going to be accepted by these Edomites. And, and instead, they laughing at you, Jakes, man. Because they know who you truly are. They know that you what? Uh, profaning, you know, the uh, uh, the name in which the Lord called you, man. All right? Esau, you're going to get it too. Because what you're doing is setting up Jake so that you can continue, you know, making Jake go off. And then falling back and saying you had nothing to do with it. Okay? You got everything to do with this, man, because they push this propaganda. They push this bullshit. Now, now they're pushing homosexuality in, in school systems, man. Okay, starting 2020, that's going to be mandatory to learn of uh, 
uh, uh, you know, LGBTQ, whatever it is, if I'm saying that right, you got to learn the history of it. Why do my child has to learn the history of sodomy? That is, I, that is disgusting, man. You know, and every time you hear one of these trainees talk and they get these platforms and they uplift them and let them speak, they say the most stupid and ridiculous shit, man. Where it doesn't even make logic sense. That shows you that they all have what? A mental illness. Now this dude Tank, he has a mental illness, man. To believe that if you give oral sex as a man and you do that to another man twice, that don't make you homo? Nigga, get the fuck out of here, man. Excuse my French, man. That's that's that is crazy. That's what you call a mental illness. Alright? Because why? Let me go back. Uh, let me go back to Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. You got a mental illness if you think that's uh that's a good thing. Okay? Which is evil, which is outright wrong, which is the fouling of your own flesh, you know? To think that's okay to be uh same sex, you have a mental illness, man. It says and put darkness for light because that is truly darkness man the body itself genetically okay is not made for same sex that's why there what that's why there was created an opposite sex this is logic one-on-one -on -one, man uh, 101 okay children know this this is the first thing they supposed to know male female man it says and put darkness for light and light for darkness and put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That's because they have a mental illness, man. Shit is sickening, man. So let me continue. Deuteronomy 32 and 33. It says, Their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of apps. Uh, is not this land up to, in store with me and sealed up among many treasures? To me belong is the to me belong vengeance and recompense. That's the most high. Because in due time, the Lord is going to judge you Israelites, man. He's going to judge you celebrities. And guess what? You're going to be judged quicker. Okay? You're going to be judged one of the first. You're going to fall You're going to fall hard, man. Okay? You wait till the Lord start uh, destroying these celebrities uh, uh, at a rapid rate, man. All right? When well, next thing you know, this celebrity died. This celebrity died. We've seen it happen. I believe, what was that, last year? It was a whole bunch of celebrities that died. Well, known people that had died. So, Deuteronomy 32, 35. To me belong in vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. Exactly, man. For the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants. Because that's the elect. All right, the Most High is going to bring a grievous judgment upon you Israelites, man. And, and y'all niggas keep ignoring the prophets. You keep ignoring the warning. But that's cool because the Lord said he come like a thief in the night. The Lord want to creep up on you niggas and catch you sleeping, man. Hey, that's how you know Jake, man. Jake Jake love creeping up and catching you slipping. That's why nigga, he, he, nigga you got beef with, he run up on you and be like, yeah, nigga caught you slipping. You know, hey, some niggas, <laughs> some niggas will catch you slipping and be like, yo, I'll spare you this time, you know, but I caught you slipping. I just want you to know that. And nigga be like, all right, all right, you got that, you got that. All right, all right. And a nigga let you pass, man. You know? Hey, that be happening, man. But the Lord said he's going to come like a thief in the night. It says, to me belong in vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand and the things that shall come upon them make haste for the lord shall judge his people all right so you saying we can't judge first off the lord is judging you in the flesh okay by his mouthpiece which are the prophets then the lord is going to judge you physically man all right because right now the lord is what showing forth mercy you know he got his hand out but the scriptures say no man regardeth all right you you slap if the hand down okay you don't take heed you don't uh you despise the knowledge of this truth all right it says um for the lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants when he seeth that their power is gone <laughs> and there is none shut up or left 
Because what power is going to leave you Israelites, man? And even right now, you don't even got no power. But the power you have is your wickedness, man. It's them demons, man. You know, scriptures say uh, uh, Jake is wise to do evil, man. Wise to do evil. When the Lord holds back Satan, because if you didn't know, Satan works for the Most High. Okay, he's not an enemy of Yahweh Shai. I mean, an uh, enemy of Yahweh. When the Lord holds back Satan, what are you going to do? When the Lord starts destroying this economy, which he is now, when this society starts to break up, when there's a lack of food and water, okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? When, when, when social media get taken out, you know, shut off, what are you going to do? It says, when he seeth that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left, he shall say, where is their gods? Exactly, because a lot of these celebrities... They worship these false gods, man. All right. They worship these false gods, and uh, it's it's one thing, it's one thing that um that that they uh they pick up is that they think that you know they they uh they uh, uh create their own destiny, you know, like uh, Will Smith. It was Tyrese. They all had this um, ideology. From reading these different books and talking to different Edomites and these different these uh, man philosophies, these false philosophies, and they believe that you can hold your own destiny in your hand when you don't. All right, scriptures say, "Man's going is of the Lord. How then can he find his own way?" All right, so it says, "And he shall say, uh, where are their gods, their rock, in whom they trusted?" Which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drink the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. And right now, who's your protection? Esau. You know, that's why Jake get on social media and do the most foolish shit. Say the most stupidest shit. Because they know what? You know, you're not going to be able to do nothing to them. All right? You know, they, they're going to have certain, certain celebrities. They're going to have... Uh, uh, well, all celebrities, they have this fan base that's for them And they have a, a, a fan base that's not for them Like the haters and, you know, they call them haters Alright Either way, with celebrities, whatever they say You got idol worshippers They'll go with whatever it is that they say, man You know So it says, which did eat of the fat of their sacrifices And drink of the wine of their drink offerings Let them rise up and help you and be your protection Alright um, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, I heal, and neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And that's the most high. That's Yahweh. Okay. Starting with the father, Bahashem in the name, uh, Yahweh Shai, which is the son who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Let me read that one more time. Seeing now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. All right, so hey, 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 that's it, you know, for that. Kind of went a little, a little long on that, but, you know, the matter at hand was this topic, all right, is uh, 50 Cent Eat This Tank for comments on oral with another man. This shit is crazy, man. You know, this guy, he had some sort of, uh, 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 you know, how can I say, you know, he, he was seeming like a, a masculine man at one point, you know, when I was younger and he was really in on the scenes and making videos, I don't see too much of them now, but it's really like no more R&B anyway, but you had your R&B, your hip hop, your rap, you know, he was noticed, he was known, man, he was like a masculine man that sung for women and bagged all the bitches, man, you know, he had the, uh, fit, fitted body and all that shit. And now look what this man is talking about. That uh, if if a man have oral sex with another man two times, that don't make him gay. Nigga, one time. What the f are you talking about, man? Shit is crazy, man. You know, so uh, I'm going to leave it with that. want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Oh, uh, let me say this. May the Lord destroy this place, Babylon the Great, man. Because this place is on its way out. It's just a matter of time. When this society and the economy crash here, man.
is happening all over the world. You guys, uh, uh, if you don't know, now you know, okay? You can look these up. It, hey, it's riots going on everywhere, man. You know, like I said in the last video, well, latest video I did, uh, I was so excited about the conversation I had with, um, with uh, it was a Marine and it was a cop. And they was speaking uh, some good news, man. <laughs> I should say. They was talking about the chip. And there was a uh, dude from Ecuador. All right. He was speaking how he had to leave his land. His, he, you know, he had to leave because the economy crashed. And he said that he said we have the world's record of 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 rioting, which is was which which was 15 days straight. And how he was explaining it, he said it was no letting up. You know, rioting, burning. People getting killed, you know, fighting the police, you know, we see that, you know, when we watch these different news outlets, alternative news, we're seeing this stuff that's going on. See, you people, you tune in and hear us and you think we're talking a bunch of bullshit, but little do you know, watch when your world crash upon you, man, and you're going to die in your sins, man. All right. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.